Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here for Fixware, and today we're talking about fix gear inside of Adobe's After Effects. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create powerful composites inside of Adobe's After Effects using the power of the award winning fix gear. Now, for all my Final Cut Pro 10 friends out there, you can check out a Final Cut Pro version of this same tutorial by heading on over to fxfactory.com slash info slash fix gear. Okay, let's get started. Now, I have a raw version of the same composite that I had just created. And you can see that we have our green screen plate on layer number two, and we have as our background just this shot of what looks like a college campus. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to apply fix gear. So let me turn my green screen element back on, you'll see that over here inside the effects and presets window, I already have the fix gear section open, and I'm simply going to take the fix gear effect right here and drag it and drop it down onto my green screen plate. Now it's important to keep in mind, especially if you're new to things like green screening, there is one step that we're actually going to want to do first before we apply the key effect. You'll see that if I turn the key off, we have all this extraneous green screen over here that I know that my talent is not going to be walking into. So what we're going to want to do is just garbage mat her out. And to do that is actually very simple. All we're going to do is grab the pen tool here and I'm just going to draw a very rough shape around her. I don't need to be very precise. Something just like this. And what we're going to want to make sure of is that she doesn't leave that mask at any point. Not even her hand right there. So let's just bring this garbage mat just over a little bit here. And now we're good to go. Because you'll remember what happened before is when I applied the keyer, a lot of the green was still visible in here. By doing the garbage mat, now when we have the keyer applied, you're going to see that we don't have any of that extraneous information now on the left or right side of the frame. Now what's important to keep in mind about the footage that I'm currently working with is that it is ProRes 422 footage and you'll see that over here in the reconstruction sampling I do have it set to 422. Now obviously if you're working with ProRes 444 you want to make sure it's set to 444 or on the flip side if you happen to be working with HDV footage you're going to want to make sure that you have that set to 422. Now to get in and make any modifications to the actual key itself, you can simply come in and adjust your channel key or white or your channel key or black to get in and adjust this key how you need to. Now of course the only problem is that it's really hard to tell what is going on with the mat just by looking at the quote unquote final composite. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to come in and I'm going to view the alpha output so I can see exactly what's going on with my mat. Now of course anything that's black is going to become transparent and anything that's white is going to be visible. Now again like I said we can now come in and make any adjustments that we might want to make. Now I'm going to want to keep as much of the hair in there as possible. Let's just zoom out. That's looking pretty good. I still have some hair up here at the top. Got a little bit of hair here at the side. Let's just come back and let's just view the alpha output. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually thinking that this looks pretty good. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Kev, look at all that green in there. You really need to get rid of that. Well, we're actually going to do that in the next step. We're actually going to be combining a few different effects here to create our final composite. The next effect that we're going to be using is despill. Now, believe it or not, despill is as simple to use as simply dragging and dropping it right over here into the effects control window and boom, you're going to see now that all of that spill has pretty much disappeared. Now, of course, if you need to make any minor modifications, it's no problem at all. Just simply adjust the despill amount to get rid of that pesky green in her hair and the rest of her outfit right about there. Now, as a default, it was set to 75%. Now, to be honest, I could leave it there. Again, it's personal preference. I just had it set at 68 and we're still looking pretty good. Okay, now next. To be perfectly honest, she looks like she's standing out a little too much from the background. It looks a little too much like we've done a green screen composite here. So let's add another effect to help her blend into the background a little bit. And I'm talking about the composite matcher effect. Again, simple drag and drop. You're going to see as soon as I apply it, she becomes slightly transparent. Reason being is because I haven't told the effect what the background image is that I wanted to use as a reference. All I'm going to do is tell the effect that I want to use layer number two here, the background. And as soon as I do that, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Kev, that really doesn't look too much different than it did before. But take a look at what happens when I turn the effect off and I turn the effect on. She's a little bit brighter there. She's a little bit duller here, more or less to match the background. 
Now, last but certainly not least, this wouldn't be a proper green screen composite if we didn't have a little bit of light wrap because we do have some light coming in from the background. Now, to do that, again, very simple. All I'm going to do is let's just twirl my effects up here just so that we give a little bit more space here inside the effects control window. We're just going to head right back to the fixed keyer section of the effects and preset window, and I'm simply going to grab light wrap, drag and drop. Now, again, what's going to happen is when I apply it, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see, but I'm just going to make a couple modifications here just so that it stands out a little bit more. What I'm going to do is just adjust the amount that the light wrap is happening. Now, of course, before I do that, we're going to want to make sure that we set our background image again to, of course, be the background. There we go. Now, as soon as I do that, you're going to notice the light wrap appear right down here, most noticeably on her dress. But let's have it stand out a little bit more again by adjusting the amount of light wrap, but then pulling back the width a little bit just to make it a little bit more focused around the edges, a little bit less diffused. Kind of like that. And you'll see that we now have the before and the after. And to be perfectly honest, once it's on there, you almost don't even notice that it's there. But basically what I now have, if I preview this effect, is a very realistic looking composite that was literally created in no time flat. So I hope this tutorial has shown you that if you do a lot of green screening work inside of Adobe's After Effects, that the award-winning Fix Keyer is definitely a tool that you're going to want to add to your compositing toolkit. For more information on Fix Keyer, you can check it out at fix.biz or to download a free demo, it's included as part of FX Factory that you can download at noiseindustries.com.